Hi folks, this is Max from Nexus4Root.com. Today I'm going to show you how to install a new ROM uh, using Clockwork Modern Recovery. Uh, before we begin, I assume you do have your Nexus 4 rooted. If you have it rooted, you should have uh, Clockwork Modern Recovery installed. Now you can use ROM Manager to install ROMs too, but for this purposes, I'll have another video using ROM Manager. This purposes, I'm going to use just the manual method. That way, if something goes wrong, you end up in a boot loop, you can still install a new ROM. Uh, first thing, you'll have to go ahead and uh, download the ROM you want and also uh, for most ROMs on the Nexus 4 you might need a Google app separately so let me go ahead and uh, go ahead and download um, your the ROM you want to install and the G apps uh, for that ROM. Usually you know it's it's either for 4. Android 4.2.1 uh, or Android 4.2 um, or or the future versions if you have the future versions. Um, so go ahead and download the ROM. You can download download those ROMs uh, straight to your phone and uh, or you can download to your computer and copy it over. Doesn't matter. Uh, once you have those files copied over, uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, power off our phone. All right. And we're going to boot into Clockwork My Recovery uh, by holding down volume down and the power button. And wait and uh, wait until you see start. And go ahead and go to recovery mode and hit the power button. All right. And this will enter you into Clockwork Mod Recovery, uh, where you can install a new ROM. Now, for most ROMs, you might be able to do it without data factor, uh, data wipe, wipe data factory reset. What that does is erases all your settings, apps. It's not going to erase you know stuff in your internal storage, such as your personal videos. Uh, photos of your baby, whatever. Um, so go ahead and uh, do white data wipe factory reset. Now, if you know if you need to go back to the previous ROM, don't forget to make a backup ROM. You can go to backup and restore and hit backup before uh, you do anything right now. And I also have instructions on that on my site nexus4root.com. Don't forget to do that um, as you'll be able to go back to your previous ROM with all your apps and settings. And also, you know, if you're going to install a new ROM, uh, do use Titanium Backup app to back up all of your apps, um, you know, which will back up all your data, um, app data settings, and also for SMS text messages, there's a bunch of uh, SMS text backup apps you can use to back it up. So back up all of that stuff before you do this. So next, I'm going to go ahead and install the ROM, uh, go to Wipe Data Factory Reset, and uh, you can try it without, which will keep your settings and apps. But uh, when you're installing custom ROM, sometimes that can end you up in a boot loop. You can always do this after you install the ROM. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe data factory reset uh, because I'll be installing the AOKP ROM. And I've actually ended up in a boot loop without doing data wipe factory reset. Uh, after that, I'm going to go to install zip from SD card, choose zip from SD card, and go to zero. And then um, go find the file in your internal storage. If you download it straight to your phone, it's usually in the download directory. All right, and you'll see that I've got AOKP Mako unofficial. AOKP that's the ROM name. Mako is the uh, uh, unofficial, the code name for this phone. Nexus 4 is the Mako, and uh, you see my zip file. All the ROM files going to be in the zip file, and also you see my G apps. This is basically a Google Apps. Um, it's in a separate file. If you don't flash the Google Apps, you will not get Play Store. So go ahead and install the ROM first. You'll need the ROM first and then the Google Apps. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the ROM, say yes, and this will install the ROM here. Uh, sometimes ROM developers will put a bunch of messages, um, this is a cool ROM or whatever, donate to me, all that cool stuff. And uh, this should take anywhere between you know two to three minutes, maybe five minutes, depending on the size of the ROM. So I'll be back when this is done installing. So it is done in, uh, installing, and uh, usually you'll get install from SD card complete. If you get any errors, um, you can try the process again, or it could be a bad file, uh, but usually it'll work on the first time. Next, go ahead and choose uh, zip from SD card, and go to zero and go to download and install the appropriate Google Apps. Uh, it usually comes with the ROM or uh, you can get the standard Android 4.2.1 G apps uh, if you're installing 
a Android 4.2.1 ROM. Uh, for this ROM, I know this GApps works, the, the third one right here. So I'm going to go ahead and choose that. I'm going to say yes. And that will install the Google Apps. Uh, you can see it says Android uh, Google Apps for Android 4.2.1 and I'm installing a 4.2.1 ROM. So when that's done, we're going to do one more step. Um, you don't have to do this, but usually this, you know, this makes the ROM um, so it boots correctly. Go back to the main menu, uh, go to wipe cache partition, say yes. This will, this will wipe cache, which is just temporary files. It does not do anything. And then go to advanced, and then go to wipe dial the cache and say yes wipe dial the cache and uh, that will clear all the temporary files sometimes it messes up when you install a new ROM and you're gonna go ahead and go back and reboot system now and that's how you install a new ROM now if you mess up if you end up in a boot loop um, you can always turn your phone off or uh, if you end up in a boot loop you can hold down volume uh, volume down in the power which will reset your phone and then you'll be able to enter a clock for my recovery from there you can try reinstalling ROM uh, or you can also restore your uh, backed up ROMs and uh, you know get your phone working but that's pretty much it and uh, we should be booting here shortly and also another note when you install ROMs make sure you install the ROMs for your phone make sure it's for Nexus 4 if you install a uh, ROM for like Galaxy Nexus or Nexus you know uh, Nexus S or something. I've done that before and you can brick your phone. That's the only way you can brick your phone. I mean it's kind of a stupid but most people complaining bricking their phones uh, are the people who did that and uh, you can't really do it from um, you know following instructions and installing the ROM for your phone. If you can do that uh, pay attention when you install ROMs you'll never brick your phone um, and especially the Nexus devices. I've never bricked the Nexus device. There you go. So if you see the welcome screen, you should be all good to go. And that's how you install a ROM. And uh, don't forget to check out the FAQ on my site, nexus4root.com. It has everything, all the basics you need to know. Um, you should know all of those things uh, when you install custom ROMs. And uh, you know that way you stay out of trouble. You don't break your phone. And uh, you'll be able to enjoy the best of custom ROMs. And uh, that's pretty much it. And uh, if you have a Nexus 4, as always, um, don't forget to sign up for my email list at nexus4root.com. And uh, uh, that way we can update you once a week with ROM of the Week tips, hacks, and more. And also, if you're on YouTube, please hit that subscribe button and the like button here for me. Uh, I would highly, highly appreciate it. And also, uh, you can subscribe. Um, yeah, that's it. <laughs> and have fun. And uh, I'll see you guys later.